Ready for a poopy time? It's Garbage Day Hour number two. In the room for this hour, Lemon, Boots, Rain Gear, Franklin West, Jimmy Franks, John Toast, Ortax, 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 <laughs> and your artist, Trav. <laughs> Yay. Go pop on Shut it down. I love it. Uh, hey, everybody. Welcome back to uh, Garbage Day Hour 2. Um, uh, we just noticed uh, that uh, we, somehow we didn't have Vortex in the previous hour's listing, and I think we made up for it. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm your host for this hour. My name's Lemon, and we are raising money for the National Network of Abortion Funds. Uh, we are currently up to $800 or $805.89. Uh, every hour you will be either rewarded or punished with Mbop, depending on your particular feeling. You can donate on garbage.live. But hey, let's meet Lar, because I hear from this document um, that everybody does love him. Mm -hmm. uh, this was a document uh, given to us by Zeka, so this is going to be weird. Um, <laughs> and um, uh, so the uh, the site here um, that we've got, we, we first got some, some YouTube stuff. We're just going to go ahead and and skip past um but um but uh jimmy franks yeah uh i'm going to the shop slash fact here are you are you looking at the same document i am i i hope so <laughs> okay okay great so i'm in the shop uh slash fact uh by the way uh this is a uh, wix site uh which is no longer uh on the air so we're going to be uh, reading from uh the doc entirely uh but i have a, a couple of questions here yeah. um and one of them is question jimmy franks mm -hmm. you're a god <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, however, I do tap into the force that comes directly from God and Jesus Christ. It's called the 3 a.m. You know, like that Matchbox 20 song? Uh, as you watch my episode... Can you hear my rating of that song? <laughs> <laughs> If you watch my episode and play my games, I'll slowly teach you all about the 3 a.m. You're not the first person to call me God or Jesus. I serve them all, and I am their willing servant. I assure you I am human. However, I have the ability to ascend above humanity. I assure you I am human. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I might ascend later. I don't know. <laughs> Question. I'm not even a native English speaker, but I Google translated this just to say one thing. Please get some mental help. You need it. <laughs> Oh, ouch. <laughs> That's going to leave a mark. Well, as long as it's not the mark of the beast, I'll manage. Hey, my questions are getting longer. Question, I would like to become a fan of Retag, Ret, Greg Tamad Gaming 1. One of my friends told me about you. Now I'm addicted to your works. I love all your movies on new grounds. Watch them all ten times over. I'm not a diehard fan like some of your other fans, hmm. but I hope to become one one. I hope to become one one day. Also, question, when will your next game come out, and when can we have a sneak peek of what it's going to be like, period? Should, should point out, <laughs> that question does get asked frequently. <laughs> it does. <laughs> well, if I had a quarter for every time someone said, I would like to become fan of Richard. <laughs> <laughs> Not only are you a fan, but me and my clique have decided that you are a diehard fan. Anyone who watches my movies at least 10 times each is a diehard fan. Remember that God and Jesus Christ are more important than I am. Make sure that you're more addicted and in love with them than you are with me and my works. I'm Get human. addicted to Christ. I'm human. <laughs> they are supreme. Also, make sure you only read from the King James Version of the Holy Bible. Never read from the New King James or from any of those other Bibles. Uh, only the um, King James. What about other religions? Are those okay? Oh I god, I'm getting flashbacks. No one of those other Bibles. <laughs> the NIV version is from Devil blah, blah, blah. Anyway, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> the next game is Forgive Germanoff. Uh, it's already out right now. I never give sneak peeks in my games because my fans love to be surprised. It's kind of like Christmas, which I don't celebrate because it's a pagan holiday. Whoa. Of my fans who have fallen oh, yeah. into the Babylonian that trick of familiar. celebrating Christmas. <laughs> Christmas has nothing to do with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It has everything to do with Tammuz. But I digress. <laughs> I love you too, sweetie. God and Jesus Christ will keep you and lead you into further truth. Hey, question. What is prep froth? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent question, Dwayne. 
Pep froth is a new art form that I invented because I saw the hardcore <laughs> fans that were feeling my stuff. I invented it years ago. I have an article that I've written about prep froth and posh froth. I'll find it and post it to you for, for, from here. Posh froth is like the son of prep froth. Prep froth is the dad, but posh froth is more awesome. The more awesome son. Hey, question, you friggin' idiot prep frother doesn't exist, dude. I looked it up and I got blending machines. If you suggest that you're a blending machine, then your draws stank like Parmesan rock. Ouch. <laughs> I remember when cool. the Parmesan was young. That question hurts every time it's asked. <laughs> I was too cold for the Antarctic, sir. I'm going to have to start calling you purple people eater. That was so frigid. Dang, money. Hey, question. Question. What? Question. Year what? 59? Oh, uh, yeah. The uh, tribute stopped freedom of speech. All speech that does not agree with their own Luciferian speech is considered hate speech. They shut down the internet and impose a jelly-like, mushy internet, too. Only certain people can speak on internet, too. Posh fathers are banned from having any websites on internet, too. <laughs> What is that? I want to visit internet too. Sounds better, doesn't it? <laughs> Excuse me, I also have a question. Yes, uh, yes. Year 59? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> uh, Dictator M finally makes his appearance. He shows himself to the world. <clears throat> D Dictator M will later on reveal himself to be Lucifer. Ah, thank you. Are there any other questions? Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got, I got a question. Uh, year 59? More events to come. <laughs> 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 what is in <laughs> here? The, the top of the dock indicates this dude makes a lot of Christian indie games and yeah, music. Picture is really good. It's very good. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's sort of like uh, so so uh, so Lar here is a uh, Christian. Um, let's just say game designer because it's good to be charitable. <laughs> also, also a uh, a music producer, like a a, a person who makes uh, makes some post music on fa on YouTube. And it is Ooh. what I would definitely describe as outsider music. <laughs> <laughs> as of, in, please go outside if you're going to play that music. Uh, speaking of, uh, uh, so uh, we have in the documents some some lyrics, uh, some lyrics that Lar has written. And uh, John Toast, hmm. I've always been a fan of the song "Wonder If." Oh, thank you. Do you could you could you sing that song for me, please? Oh, sure. Here's my hit, "Wonder If." <laughs> I need love, I'm not a loser. If I had a woman, I'd never abuse her. Not confuse her, she's my queen. I'd amuse her, she'd be my dream. I need a strong foundation. We would have jubilation. Yeah. My heart was made for lovin'. I'm a virgin, burning like an oven. Whoa. I, whoa. I've been lit on fire. <laughs> I don't own a Mercedes. I just want a beautiful lady. <laughs> I want to have two kids, maybe a girl and a boy. <laughs> oh, 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 Gauntlet Throne, every other song from this marathon. <laughs> listen, listen to me. Say something else. I'm never on the shelf. But <laughs> the DH will never get let on. Unified nothings always make great songs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I make great songs. <laughs> I make great songs. Okay. I'm a winner. What can I say? When will tonight turn into day? I'll call her Misty H and, and confess. Bygones are bygones. Love is strong. <laughs> yes, love is stiff. But I can't help but wonder if. Love is strongest. Love is stiff. But I can't help but wonder if. Love is strongest. Strong, love, love is stiff. But I can't help but wonder if. Love is strongest. Love is stiff. I can't help but wonder if. Love is strong. Love is stiff. Oh, wait. That's last one. <laughs> hey, I'm a virgin. And you are, too. Be my hey, lady. Hey, live hey, oh. <laughs> can't take it back. I'm moving on. I will treat you with my respect. Kiss your shoulders and caress your neck. Ew. <laughs> In the oh, most God. virgin way possible. <laughs> it's impossible to throw up the words you just said. <laughs> yes. Other, otherwise, they go into your into your system. Oh God, <laughs> too late for that. I feel like you were meant for me. You are the woman of my dreams. No other woman can take your place. The smile on my face will always remain. No. <laughs> <laughs> cha -cha -cha. <laughs> as long as you are with me forever, together our love will never sever. I feel so mm. clever when you talk with me. I feel so free when you walk with me. I'm you are my lady. Oh, okay. And then <laughs> we, we won't do that again, but it's, you are late. Oh, wait, no, this, this is different. Okay. 
<laughs> you are my lady and I'm your guy. I feel my love. I feel the love high that I can't deny. You are my lady and I'm your guy. I feel the love high that I can't deny. Why lie when I tell you the truth? I tell the truth because the world will lie to you. Why lie when I tell you the truth? Hop in my black canoe. <laughs> <laughs> giving him eargasm with my chastity uh huh sure and then the time for course again we'll skip that yes you wonder if ewing was, is a one yes you wonder if ewing is a one yes you wonder if ewing is a one yes you wonder if ewing is a one you know i think that was the best rhyming uh <laughs> yeah. patrick ewing Talk about patrick yeah ewing. i mean the rest of like Nick. like bring in bunny bread for the patrick ewing joke wake his ass up I think it's just, it's really brave to find a song that's willing to stick to the ABA whatever rhyme scheme. <laughs> uh, that's, not the, uh, that's not the only song in here. Uh, there's another song uh, in here, and that song is called Virginia Surf Portax. I, I first read that as Virginia Smurf. <laughs> Virginia Smurf. <laughs> Who's afraid of Virginia Smurf? This um, is a poem, I guess? This is, no, it's a song. It's a song. It's a song. Uh, Portax, would you sing the song Virginia Surf? <laughs> It's not formatted like a song at all. Okay. I don't know why you would say that. It's one long string. <laughs> <laughs> like a flower, the tune starts to bloom. It's a game o' lar, data uno dos tres. I'm feeling blessed. The data switch up the strata prep froth jam show you who I am. I'm the super cool gold! I gold. feel <laughs> so free. With the new money, take a chill pill into Glee Sunday morning football. On Hut Hut, my beautiful lady, walking with a strut snow cone, cold air conditioned to the max. Drop by the store to pick up the facts. Loser's got axed, so I sit back and <laughs> bang out some tunes for some more game tracks. Frozen, ice cold blue. Light in the room, baby. On the way, chill into my lady's room. Room. <laughs> All of my bank to check you out. My fun money's in my reach. I got students to teach. I'm dreaming big dreams and looking for my book. My masters in heaven are the heroes. I <laughs> Why have My we God. never brought her into a singing episode before? That's a great <laughs> question. That was beautiful. Where have you been this whole time? <laughs> uh, the hey, really rough. We kept the we kept this jam in a box. Um, okay, so uh, I think that f- fifteen minutes into the episode is probably the time to give context to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> We've only been doing Check this for ten. The, we've only been doing this for ten vote years. Vote on what the episode is about, because I feel that. Uh, way. Yeah, we've only been doing this for ten years. We'll get the hang of it someday. Uh, but yeah, so uh, so Lar makes games, uh, and uh, Zeka points out uh, Lar's games usually take this form. He takes a built-in game maker sample project, changes all the art, and between levels, he intersperses original short fiction. Uh, Zeka continues. I'm not sure if these games are available on the internet, and some of them. Beats Meal Bro are pretty unplayable, but I've transcribed the text of the third game of his Beats Meal saga here, along with italicized descriptions of what happens in between. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so uh, so uh, I'll read the part in italics. Uh, Jimmy Franks, you'll read the part in um, uh, regular. Uh, uh-huh. Boots got the bold and Frank. In a regular. <laughs> Great. Uh, so this is a distraction window. Two men in color changing turbans and raincoats are in a blue room on platforms marked with the numbers 2800, 1000, 0, and 10. They jump on some other men in color changing turbans and raincoats. Then they walk into a green box. The year is 5965. Matreya <laughs> Zone 5 teams up with Matreya Zone 3 and Matreya Zone 7. They warn MZ1, MZ2, MZ6, and MZ8 to not attack. Any hostility will be met with aggression. A Bacchus, Strange Lady, and others are hiding out in an underground secret city. A Bacchus, what are you? <laughs> a Bacchus, what do you think we should do? <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect. 
Oh, it's a pterosaur flying around a thing. Sorry, keep going. (laughs) Should we attack them now? Let's wait, strange lady. My gut tells me we have them exactly where we want them. Hit one, two, continue. <laughs> oh, we did it. just cross a thousand dollars. Yeah, we did. We did cross a thousand dollars. So, uh, so uh, if you're watching the stream on video, uh, you're going to notice that uh, Hanson graphic that comes up every time there's an mm bop. Um, you'll notice that that Hanson video is going to. I was going to say progress. Um, but... De- degress, regress. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, evolution is not a, you know, it's not a betterment thing. It's just an, it's just a process, right? <laughs> yeah. so it'll, it'll evolve. Uh, and uh, thanks to Sanguinary Novel for that and uh, for uh, our mascot, Albert, uh, and many other things. Uh, anyway, as I was going to say, an image of a pig-nosed teenager wearing MS painted sunglasses, a reverse baseball cap, and Groucho Mark's mustache appears on screen. The teenager is chewing a sock of wheat. Come to think of it, I think you're right. I don't. That's, that's you, Jimmy Franks. Quotes are. <laughs> Many of the Christians are hiding out in mountains, caves, and secret places of the earth. Germanov, the Christian, and others are among them. Objective: find Germanov. <laughs> Hit Y to move on. The two men in raincoats walk right for about half a second. Pig-faced teenager appears. Germanov, where did your book say I should go next? Uh, yeah, you need to go to the House of Sardonyx. <laughs> okay, thanks. No problemo. <laughs> Certain Christians have reached high levels of prophecy. <laughs> oh, his prophecy is off the chart. <laughs> Prove him wrong. Hit Warning, point. going into prophecy overdrive. Please vent prophecy. Hit end to move on. Oh, there's a lot of buttons for move on. There sure are. <laughs> an image of a raincoat with no eye, or a raincoat man with no eyes appears. About a quarter of an explosion appears in the left corner of the screen and starts wiggling. Titus in the graphic oh, 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 script. Oh, oh, oh. Trava better be animating all of those. Oh, uh, after all, reading this future is what helps to ensure wartime victory. A Town Thanks Gomak has reached Thank the high level. His name is now Adino Takamon as Knight. <laughs> Of course. Drama Yam that is... K has reached high level. Drama Yam K? Holy <laughs> shit! That character writes itself! Trev! Drama has reached high level. I can't do this. <laughs> would, you, would you like me to take over? No. Twin okay. Drama has reached high level. His name is now Abishai. House of Sardonic <laughs> citizens have voted in a fixed election. Best be- <laughs> Beast wheel, bro. <laughs> Chosen to become king of House of Sardonyx. Hit M to move on. An image of an arrow pointing to a heart appears. Distraction Widow by Hope SM Laura Unashamed. Back together with my girlfriend. Yay! <laughs> Hit S to start game. <laughs> <laughs> that was on the title screen. <laughs> That was the cold Germanoff. open to the video game. <laughs> of course, Germanov had something to do with that. His money was definitely the unspoken factor that pushed Beast Meal Bros. election. Beast Meal Bro! Beast Meal Bros. election. Yeah, Beast Meal Bro. As Germanov sits at the celebration, he suddenly realizes that money doesn't mean a thing. He's a multimillionaire. However, he's not using his money to the utmost. Why? Why should I keep all this money when so many people are hungry? I must give away my money to the poor. Hit four to move number four ward. Aha! <laughs> to the Gurmanov fourth ward. knows he can't help everyone. However, he will do his best to help out at least 100 people. If he can help out at least 100 people, he will then increase to helping out at least 200 people. <laughs> <laughs> hit V Send this to email to 100 people in the next seven days. <laughs> So hit V to not go forward to to continue. I like the I, I like to think that this is like a game controller and that these are all just like it just has like a hundred buttons on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 and they're all next scene. Oh, uh, the year is fifty nine sixty six. We know Abacus that. and Strange Lady are still monitoring the situation from their underground bunker. Then something weird happens. The sky keeps flashing <laughs> different colors of the rainbow. Instead of the normal red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet spectrum, the reverse occurs. Violet, <gasps> indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. That's not... <laughs> that man's flashing the color of rainbows. Eh. But they're backwards. <laughs> Holy oh! shit! <laughs> Hit you to move on. 
The screen okay. turns to red and an and an image of a blonde haired woman with circular blue eyes appears. She jiggles wildly <laughs> uh, while the men in turbans kept popping from the bottom of the screen like trout. Her mouth rotates left and right and occasionally flickers completely black, black or bright pink. The quarter of an explosion graphic appears <laughs> and approaches her head. When it reaches it, her mouth moves, but nothing's heard from it. One huge spaceship shows up in the sky. It appears from out of nowhere. A being descends from the spaceship. Hit Q to continue. Uh, a jiggly spaceship slowly passes a wall of the number 2800. What the hell? <laughs> about yeah, that's what it does. Uh, yeah, can I see a jiggly trap? Can I please see a jiggly spaceship? <laughs> Hang on, he's drawing the controller. Oh, you're right. Okay, no, <laughs> oh, that's good. Right. I want to see the controller, too. Oh, it's for the GameCube. Nice. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> Only real Smash players play on this controller. <laughs> that's a real fucking controller, is the thing. <laughs> Just about everyone who's in the know recognizes Maitreya. He states that he changed the Sabbath from the seventh day to another day. He tells everyone to keep a different day holy. He says he changed the fourth commandment. He says that it's blasphemy to not obey him. Beast Meal Bro gets more messages on his descent to net. So Satan's first act is to change the Sabbath day? <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> You've all got Wednesday off work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, didn't you know Satan was a Seventh-day Adventist? This is what it's all about. This is, about, this is all about Seventh-day Adventism. Okay. I don't know why it's not obvious to you guys. <laughs> well, you know what? Nothing about Seventh-day Adventism makes sense. So yeah, this tracks. Hit N to navigate. An image appears that looks like a screen cap of Jesus from some animation. Is it Mormon? Is it the Mormon Jesus thing? I would hope so. I would hope so. Uh, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, homes, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, <laughs> and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. All our DGs have crashed. Soft duel, due to his lack of courage, has been ousted. Soft duel, you duel. fucking coward. Soft duel. Soft duel. Why would you hire that guy? <laughs> Lars two. enters around, the world becomes more confusing. Hit two to continue. A man in a lion costume drops from the jiggly spaceship. <laughs> the wall is now made Woo! of the number zero. He lands on a rainbow-colored bush. And by the way, Trav did in fact draw the jiggly spaceship. And it looks like if the Mystery Science Theater satellite of love was a vibrator. <laughs> you know, it kind of looks like those uh, those shaky weights. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaky yeah. weights. Well, 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 well. <laughs> no, it is, it is the uh, satellite of love, though. You can see the theaters in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, uh, sorry, this is a quote. This sure is. Radvalom, due to his display of bravery, is now in command. Now, our team uses Radvalom. Is Rad that how Valom. military promotions work? Yes, you just, you, the person who runs towards the bullets the most gets promoted. <laughs> <laughs> like, as you charge into the battlefield, your medals just get heavier and heavier. <laughs> <laughs> Now, our team uses Radvalom shekels. The other team uses flame birds. <laughs> Germanov speaks. Hey, BB! Always be sure to have <laughs> hey. a purpose and goal in life. <laughs> hey, BB! Show your tits. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have that, you ain't got nothing. Yeah, I'll remember. Uh, does anybody else want to also be a character? Should I just be all of them? I'm fine with being uh, all of them. You got Toast and Vortex there that can tag you out if they feel you, like it. Dude, whatever you want, Frank. I'm oh, well, in that case, I'm going to scene hog. Yeah, <laughs> I'll remember that, Germanov. I'll go on ahead to the airport now. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> I've never been on an airplane before. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, yeah, that's you, Boots. Oh, sorry. Uh, this one's a parenthetical for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure. They keep doing secret. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What was the instruction again? Oh. And it doesn't even say why. <laughs> it's, it's to continue. Uh, an image of a lock appears marked by the number one. <laughs> Holy shit. We're at $1,426.55. <laughs> this is... Martians. More Martians. Oh, my God. Oh, God, there's a hatchet man on stuff. Yeah, 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 there's a little hatchet man running now. It's getting really good. <laughs> <laughs>
Yay. Things that makes more sense than what we're reading. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that's true. Uh, okay. Uh, so, uh, where the fuck? Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, there was a, a lock, and it was marked by the number one. The one mm. periodically alternates to green to a green zero, and sometimes the whole lock flashes yellow. I hate these that's Resident right. Evil games. These puzzles are so hard. <laughs> Well, get used to it. You're in the House of Sardonyx now, and you're going to be traveling all around the world. Just get used to it, buddy. Uh, Sunglasses uh, appear in his face. Point of order, uh, Lemon, I want to change the name of the port- uh, to the, <laughs> to the above the podcast to House of Sardonyx. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Welcome to the House of Sardonyx. Beast Meal Bro loses his wallet. First time <laughs> on his way to the airport, and above all things, he loses his wallet. Uh, Memory like a sieve in the chat says Neon Genesis Evangelist. (laughs) Neon Genesis Evangelist. Evangelist. That's really good. (laughs) Uh, He gets to the airport checkpoint. Time to get fondled. His first act of duty is to cancel all his his license. What was he fondled? She hears about this. Is it that time again? (laughs) Uh, Oh, sorry. Hit V. Thank you. I was waiting to for someone to hit that button. We just stopped. <laughs> Softwall is a fraud. We it know that. <laughs> His name's Softwall. Hello. <laughs> Softwall only looks out for himself. If he can pit two entities against each other in order to gain more money for his coffers, he will do it in a heartbeat. Noir, Widow, Sleet, and Beast Meal Bro are happily engaged. She calls him and tells him that both of them need to work harder in their relationship. What is going on? Hit M to move on. Does that help? Now when the lock flashes to a digit, it's the one that's green, not the zero. Eh? Eh? Oh. Oh. You're welcome. I took your notes, producers. Oh, Boots, I'm really glad you made me pay La Mulana because it's really good for preparing me for... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. Sh- Sharvimimu scared yes. of Sharviclone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that sentence one more time, please. Sharvimimu was scared of Sharviclone. Okay. Sure. Sharviclone was to kill him. Sharva clone could already live on Earth, something that scared Sharva Mumu. So Sharva Mumu <laughs> had, had Dan Lion Deacon destroy Sharva clone. <laughs> Whose music is that? Is that Dan Lion Deacon's? <laughs> yeah, man, we'll turn it up. <laughs> <laughs> Those thoughts enter Germanoff's brain again. This world is fake. This world is plastic. Excuse me. You're fucking treading on my union shit. I I read the ones in the quotes. <laughs> yeah, he's he's already <laughs> stepped over his whole cast mate. <laughs> he's not you think I won't fucking anybody. cut you from this fucking program? <laughs> me, me and Toast just sitting in the background being like, we can help, you know? <laughs> you guys are doing a good reading, guys. Good job. Good job. Buddy. Yeah. I'm just back at craft services like, well, at least I get paid. <laughs> <Just>. <laughs> Wait, I don't get paid shit. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. I thought we were raising this money for us. <laughs> this world is fake. This world is plastic. I must look up to God and Jesus Christ. I must look up to God and Jesus Christ. I must look up to heaven. I have a major spiritual thing to do on this earth. <laughs> All right, we have to uh, skip some of this game here. Uh, Boots, can you please skip down to the point where, let's see. Oh, what what button should we push? What button should we push? I think we should probably skip to the point where you hit M. Can you hit M? Uh, It's pretty close to the end. uh, (laughs) Hit M. Why did I need to look that up? Anyway. (laughs) They form a Animal team to go against Softwall. Dan Lion Deacon is cool with R I I I D and Sharva Mumu. <laughs> yeah, you know me. Hit T. Babe, perhaps you should stop investigating why Beast Meal was destroyed. <laughs> Come on, it's a distraction. Man. Maybe you should focus on finding better employment. After all, me and you are getting married very soon. Hit K. Oh. You'll definitely find this storyline for this long gaming series to be out of this world. Pew, pew, pew. I mean, Stuart H.K. Larlover. 
Rig Tem and Gaming. Hit E to end game. Chat hit E. Achilles Healy says, Is this David Cage's early work? <laughs> I don't know. That felt kind of interactive, frankly. <laughs> Lars become oh, something? <laughs> oh, look at the J in the, 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 the chat is now a flood of ease. <laughs> <Ow, you're... laughs> screen after screen after screen of E. <laughs> I wonder if you could have pressed that button from the start. <laughs> Wait, is that why every button is different? <gasps> Shogun, Shogun, go sorry, hit him, we start again. <laughs> oh no! It's played with a special controller where every time you press a button, the button no longer works again. <laughs> I would like a fondle wash, though. I would. <laughs> um, uh, okay, so uh, as we know, uh, everybody loves Lar, and Lar does make games, uh, but he also made a novel. Um, the novel has a bunch of chapters. Uh, Zeka points out uh, that his third novel, The Arms of Soft Duel, uh, was written before Distraction Window, but seems to take place chronologically after. Uh, however, Lars claims it takes place chronologically before. So, uh, Toast, <laughs> I'm going to give you three options. Okay. So which of, uh, which of these chapters would you like to read? Year 5977, Arms? Year 5978, Depression of an Individual, or <laughs> years 5979, Depressed and Deposed. M Muffin Butler says I... E. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess Still... depressed, depressed and Deposed. Let's go with that. Okay, okay. That's a weird, uh, that's a weird uh, Kindle porn uh, title, but you know, <laughs> you'll find a market. Year 5959, Depressed and Deposed. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or of the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for redress of grievances. Abishai is dead. He was 44 years old. Matreya shot a huge blue fireball at Abishai and killed him. <laughs> oh, no. That's, yeah, that's my favorite part of the Constitution there. <laughs> <laughs> Klelvorg speaks to Beastmeal Bro. Hey, BB. Hey, <laughs> we want some BB. <laughs> Me, Softuel, Noir, Window, Widow, Sleet, and others have decided that you are no longer fit to be king of House of Sardonyx. So, wait, someone's name is Noir Widow Sleet? <laughs> like just those three words? Yeah. Uh, you down with NWS? I mean, <laughs> the, chat's still the chat's still pressing E, and it's not working. <laughs> Please, Noir Widow Sleet was my father. <laughs> <laughs> You are allowed to still be a prince. However, we voted, and we will be placing Hefe Riolento in your position as King of House of Sardonyx. Wow. I really hate that guy. Well, I guess I just have to accept that. Wow, I really hate that guy. I guess I'll just have to accept it. Ha. <laughs> what a funny story. Um, Orbonix is a showman. He is the dad of Noir Widow Sleet. See, we're getting back story here. <laughs> Noir Widow Sleet. Okay. Gold Dragon is increasing in power. Since Arr. Abishai is dead, Twi <laughs> Twin Waldenza mm -hmm. <clears throat> is the only scientist who is conducting these uh, those experiments. Soft Duel decides to go out on a limb. He convinces Klelvorg to hire, hire Schoolmaster to assist Twin Waldenza. No period. Oh, these are all just Zelda boss names. That's oh. where that's that's what this is. Oh, I th I thought it was the plot of Overwatch. <laughs> yeah, these are these are all the bosses for Zelda Spirit off the tracks. <laughs> House of Sardonyx is uneasy about the arrangement. Yeah. Soft Duel has changed his mind about destroying Raulamon the Third. He knows that R three D R Roman numeral three D. <laughs> okay, uh, let me let me restate that. He knows that Reed might just be the extra man that they need to tip the balance and defeat the Sphinx movement. He decides to no longer hunt Reed. <laughs> Abacus demands that every single person on the face of the earth worship him. Mm, right, yeah. and, yeah. and paragraph. <laughs> Abacus and his tributes are not only arresting people and locking them up in sorcerer camps, now they are beheading <laughs> people with lasers. Oh, dear! Oh, oh my. Badass! I mean, you know, yeah, if you're going to be head people, I mean, that's a pretty great way to do it. Gonna airbrushed on the side of a van or something. 
boy, I guess that's just the nature of politics these days. <laughs> Hefe Rialetto chooses the members of his team. Read Dusk Slinger. D- I'm sorry, Dusk Singer. How did I read that wrong? Ladybug Monique. <laughs> Shama. Noir Widow Sleep. <laughs> Six Strip Volco and Contember. Ah, oh, these are such good names, though. <laughs> Helicopter rides. Hefe is a bit of a <laughs> No one knows exactly what he's going to do as king of House of Sardonics. Couldn't be any worse than Beastmeal Bros. Reign, am I right? <laughs> that guy knows. Ah, uh, uh, good Beast point. Meal. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Okay, team. We are Team Sardonics, and I am your friend. It is important that we all stay humble. I expect us to function as an unstoppable capital T team. Mm -hmm. We will defeat the Sphinx movement. We are not in a game. Certain things will occur so that destiny can take its course. Gerbanoff gives 250,000 shekels to Hefe Riolento to help him <laughs> further develop his capital T team. <laughs> when, did, oh. when, did, when did shekels find themselves in currency again? Oh, that came up in the uh, in the video game above. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's when they formed um, the Gerbanoff's uh, military team, they decided to use shekels. God, I'm, so, I, I'm so sorry for missing that salient point. I apologize. I, mean... <laughs> I apologize to you. I apologize to the listeners. <laughs> um, can I... Can I... Can I interject here? Because uh, I, I want to give props to Trev's uh, laser guillotine. <laughs> oh, laser the rich! <laughs> <laughs> it would work, too! <laughs> you, you, can tell, you can tell them it's, uh, uh, it's uh, LASIK. <laughs> um, it gets the toxins out of your neck. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, okay, so uh, so that was uh, part of his novel. Uh, his novel uh, seems to be very long, and uh, we can't read all of that uh, because we've got so many other things to do, such as read some of Lars's recipes. Okay, so uh, Lars has <laughs> Lars has just one moment. Though. Yeah, one of the what? reviews. I just yep. want to point out one of the reviews. Okay, no. Okay. Um, yeah. um, so uh, so so. Uh, we've got we've got a couple of recipes, and one of those recipes is called Noodles Yummy. Okay, can, can we can we say what the actual title of this category is, though? Nope. <laughs> All right. No. All no. Right, here's, so, here's, here's so the, boots. What's it, the recipe? Noodles Yummy. Okay, so this is from the YouTube video of U- Noodles Yummy, uh, which was transcribed. Which is note from Detzeka, transcribed by Lar himself, formatting preserved. Ooh yeah, what a nice song. <laughs> Don't anybody try to stop me from eating my noodles. My tasty noodles. Oh, they make me happy inside. I don't want nobody wonderful tasty noodles on my noodles. If I want to put some butter on them, put some cheese on my noodles, then let me do some... Oh my god. Let me do some butter on my noodles, then let me put some butter on them. Because I just want to eat. Because I... No, okay. Good. I don't want nobody good trying to hit my elbow when I'm trying to enjoy a bowl of my noodles. <laughs> Make me happy inside. Uh. And don't you ever think that you can try to spit in my bowl of noodles. <laughs> don't spit in my bowl of noodles. I like to eat my noodles on a cold, blustery, wintry day when the day's so cold outside. I just eat me some noodles inside. A big old bowl of noodles inside. Tasty noodles. Wow, thanks for that recipe, Boots. That was really helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Get your crazy uh, so, shined up. Grab a handful of cold noodles. <laughs> so, uh, so that was uh, the recipe for noodles. Yummy. Portex, can you give me a recipe for peanut butter jelly sandwich? No. <laughs> no. Try that again. Oh, sorry, Portex. Can you give me a recipe for peanut butter jelly sandwich? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, this is still music, I guess. The recipe. <laughs> okay. The recipe. Recipes actually still music. <laughs> All I want to do is eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich. All I want to do is eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich. All I want to do is eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich. That's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. I'm already living in 2018, so I got to pretend. I got to pretend that I'm living in 2014. <laughs> <laughs> 
because y'all will think I'm crazy. I'm already living in 2018, so I gotta pretend. So I gotta pretend that I'm living in 2014, because y'all will think I'm crazy. All I want to do <laughs> is eat a peanut butter, butter to the sandwich. sandwich. It tastes so delicious. <laughs> All I want to do is eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich. All I want to do is eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich. All I want to do is eat a peanut butter jelly sandwich. That's all I need to do. And it'll make my belly feel happy and delightful. And then my belly will smile. One for one. Two for two, three for three, that's four. Next thing you'll never do is open that barnyard door. One for one, two for two, three for three, that's four. The next thing you better do is open that barnyard door. One for one, two for two, three for three, that's four. The next thing you better do is open that barnyard door. Hey, look at that chicken. Hey, look at that chicken. Hey, look at that chicken. Hey, look at those roosters. Hey, look at those roosters. This is unfair. She got line breaks. <laughs> <laughs> I got one that was actually formatted like kind of like a saw. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Freed my oh. dumb filter because take me to church for oh, so cool. <laughs> <laughs> It is just like the Blues Brothers. So those those watching the stream now. Don't do this. <laughs> Those watching this in the future, go to the doc, click on the YouTube video for that, and you'll find the strangest music video you've ever seen. It is <laughs> like it is like I I was I saw that and I was like I am very jealous at how like crazy this is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so there's some uh, there's some reviews uh, of various products um, that um, uh, Lar has made here. We're, we don't have time for a bunch of them, uh, but we do have time for some of them. So Jimmy Franks, yeah, I believe your name is Hyperdrive Space Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, what's your review, buddy? Did you, how did you get a hold of my birth certificate? <laughs> <laughs> Now, did you change it at L Asylum, or is that what it changed to? Uh, <laughs> okay. So this so... was in response to a YouTube video called 2015. Right. Uh, yeah, uh, still going to think you're crazy when you start predicting shit this year. Damn, you fucked up. Uh, and then what I believe is Lar uh, responds, I don't make predictions. There's no need for me to do that. I don't fuck up. I just fuck my hot chick. <laughs> <laughs> and we like to fuck each other. Hyperdrive space fuck! <laughs> Don't forget to read your Bible. And those were all censored as well, so... Uh, and then, By uh, Lara, Boots, I assume. Boots, uh, Boots, your name is uh, Knock Four Times, uh, and uh, you had a review for uh, Shar Vubru Ends. That was a Newgrounds, uh, 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 Newgrounds thing. Yes. Knock Four okay. Times, yeah. Your games give me chronic migraines. Those aren't migraines, my friends. I'm developing your brain. I am actually upgrading you to become a superhuman. That's why you continue to play. I'm stimulating your neurons and teaching you how to make new connections. Ever seen the movie Lucy? I am a scientist. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh. You know, I thought I was prepared for anything for the stream, but I didn't expect a reference to the movie Lucy. I didn't expect someone taking Lucy seriously. I think he's the second person to do that after Lucy was on. I am a scientist. You are my Lucy. I am teaching you how to become superhuman. Kind of a painful process, huh? Don't worry. If you stick with me, I'll be flying through space, kid. <laughs> And uh, Tosta, you're D, the, the one, whatever the next one down is, whatever that name is. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm a collection of letters. Um, yeah. Game freezes at the yellow screen before it can even get to the actual gameplay. Yeah, the yellow screen is called the sunshine screen. That means you chose the wrong option. You must try again. That is intentionally there. <laughs> oh, this is David Cage. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and uh, noodles yummy boots uh, boots your uh, uh, recipe <laughs> noodles yummy um, uh, I had a review uh, from Gabriel Densford boots will you take that please sure I was listening to this when I was doing my girl and mm -hmm. I had to stop halfway in 
so I can get the full gist of this masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. <laughs> P-I-S. P-I-S. Hey, Gabriel Densford. Oh, snap, homie. Never stop doing your chick. <laughs> I have No. No, my music ain't important enough for you to stop the joy of the recreation. <laughs> like, oh, when wow. I'm, like when I'm doing my chick. <laughs> ow. <laughs> like when I'm doing my chick. Don't nothing stop me. Not the doorbell, not the mailman, not the loud music, not the fire on the roof, not the gas explosion, not the puppy falling off the balcony, nothing. Yeah, I ain't no hater, homie. Your chick is first. You can always listen to my masterpieces later. Please, attend your woman first. You know she love you. Is she mad at you? If so, tell her that I sincerely apologize. And tell her what I told you. I don't like it when chicks are mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> See Travis decide the my new logo for my Aquadex. <laughs> um, Portex, uh, would you be uh, Trekasec, please? All right, yeah, it's one of the reviews. Is that like an umbrella person? <laughs> I think it's supposed uh, to be like the Aquabats. I think it's yeah. an Aquabat. Yeah, oh, okay. that's also the hair and the wings yeah. at the same time. Uh, yeah, I'm Trekasec. Uh, this is surprisingly better than Virginia Surf. Uh, the the crazy but great beats are much more than par. Huh. Huh. Why, thank you! This may sound goofy, but when I was making this song, I was trying to make the beat sound like a chandelier. I was like, <laughs> what would a chandelier sound like if it was swinging in the breeze and it could hum? No joke, this is what I came up with. If you listen to it again, you'll probably hear the way the, the song swings back and forth like a pendulum. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, truck a sec? I, I, uh, I, uh, uh, it's, it's very, it's very clear to me. Uh, the chandelier beat is very smooth, blends in so nicely to the song. Uh, it's better than the songs heard at number one on, on the charts these days. Please, 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 <laughs> please, 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 please yeah. <laughs> Just take whatever you want. <laughs> Don't hurt my family. Hey, Trekasek, wow! Thank you, kind friend. I'm glad you detected how I tried to seamlessly blend into the beat of the song. Smooth as lotion, baby! Mm. I'll be honest. That's <laughs> mm. a lotion chandelier swinging in the bird. <laughs> you, remember, you remember how good Noodles Yummy was? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what songs are on the number one charts these days. You'll have to excuse me for being such an anachronism! Woo. <laughs> Fall down. <laughs> Anachronism. Uh oh, I think I think I want just one more review. Uh one just one more review. Um Okay, uh Yeah, 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 yeah. So sorry. Okay. So uh Jimmy Franks, if you can just take little red bear, please. Little red bear. Yeah, yeah, little hyphen red hyphen bear. Uh, what, and uh, I, I want to talk about Posh Froth Page a little oh, bit. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. 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 Um, Thought provoking and energy filled thrill. Thank you, kind friend. If you ever feel the need to become a posh posh froth master, follow the insight of the posh froth boys. <laughs> With a <V>. Boys. <laughs> I want a posh froth boys shirt. <laughs> I'm currently trying to find out if they will be the protectors of the douche froth. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's like a contractual thing? Or like... If not, I'll have to try and find loyal earthlings who will carry forth the douche froth. You, wise student, have an open mind to allow your thoughts to be provoked. You will feel energy and power the further you go and the more you learn, if you feel like it. Things are much more interesting than the boring day-to-day -day life. Hey, F+, plus, did we actually learn anything here? <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> no? It's just random fucking words. <laughs> it's Any so... Of it's so weird. Like, one of the things... Because <clears throat> usually when we've read people, uh, crazy people, like, they've got, like, a tone that they set and continue with. And, like, at all times, this guy is crazy. But the way that he like manifests itself with words changes so frequently. Like he doesn't write the same, which is odd for a crazy person. I feel like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. well, yeah, I, I think like sometimes he writes like himself and sometimes he's writing like, this is what an author sounds like. Yeah. yeah I think yeah, you're right. He's probably trying to do like a persona. Yeah. Uh, as best as he can figure out. How to do that. <laughs> well, I learned what I missed out on, which on that posh froth page, um, it says underneath, 
this game is to prepare humanity for 2018. And I feel like I learned if I would have played this, maybe I would have been better prepared for 2018. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's too late now. This is disorienting and vaguely unpleasant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, that is the close of our two. Everybody loves Lar. Uh, thank you so much. I want to give applause to Trav. Yay, uh, Trav! Uh, thanks, Trav. Our, first, our first artist. Uh, so so pleasurable. <laughs> <to Scott>. <laughs> <laughs> I look very upset <laughs> that I'm in a butterfly meme. <laughs> Uh, when we come back uh, with our number three, uh, your host will be Jimmy Franks, uh, and uh, your other ridiculous will be Lemon, Adam, Bozarth coming in here, uh, Jack Chick, Nutshell, and Ironicus, uh, and your artist is a little somebody by the name of Portex. We'll see if yes. some plot stopper Yeah, the two Portexes name. will be killed. They have held up their useless. <laughs> no! I was only alive for an hour! No! <laughs> uh, thanks a bunch. Uh, stand up. <laughs> Run around your house. See you in a second.